now we shall discuss about the structure of the courts in India. There are three levels of court in the country. First is the district court which is generally at the Tehsi level and many cities and towns come under it. The second court is the high court which is there in the capital of every state of the country. The highest body is the Supreme Court which is located in New Delhi, the capital of India. So the structure of courts in India is of three levels, the district court, the high court and the supreme court. The decision of the supreme court is final. Now, some people ask whether the judiciary in India is integrated. Yes, of course it is. And the biggest stress that we can give on the integration is that the decision made by the higher court is binding on the lower courts. That is the Supreme Court's decision is final and you cannot challenge it and the high court's decision is binding on the subordinate court. So it is an integrated judicial system. Besides there is also the appellate system in India. That is, you move from the lower court to the higher court. That is, supposing a person is unhappy with the decision of the subordinate court, he can move against it to the high court and unhappy still can move to the supreme court. So, you can move from the lower to the high court and to the Supreme Court which means appellate system of jurisdiction in India. Of course, the final decision remains supreme and it cannot be challenged. In your book, they have given an example of Sudha Goel who married Lakshman and when she was burnt because of dowry and the decision went on from one court to another, sometimes in favor of one party and sometimes in favor of another party. Finally, it was the decision of the Supreme Court which gave respite to the Sudha Goel family. And its decision could not be challenged by the boy's family. So, you have to remember that this is the supreme judicial court that we have in the country.